What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Glad you are tuning in. This is Jared, AKA The Rogue Vet here. And basically y'all can see in the title, um, it's gonna be basically just me showing the process that I do to get my car ready for a car show, car meet uh, with the squad, okay? So basically my car is always garaged and I don't drive it in you know bad rainy weather, stuff like that. So it hardly ever gets dirty may just have a little bit of dust on it, but that's pretty much it. I'll show you all the products I use behind me to get the car looking super clean. Everyone around here that knows me that's in Lone Star Corvettes knows my car always looks really, really good, really shiny and everything. It looks brand new. And I'll just kind of show you all what I use, okay? It's been working well for me, so it should work well for you as well. But anyway, guys, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you do enjoy the content on the channel. And uh, this is going to be just a little quick cleaning video showing you my, uh, my, my ways of doing things. So, anyway. Alright guys, so as y'all can see, here is my garage. I have it on the wide angle lens so y'all can kind of see it. I know some of y'all have already seen it in the past, but here's basically, I'm just showing y'all the garage again. So y'all can see. But, first things first, I'm going to do the vacuuming the inside, the trunk both passenger and driver's side so we can get the kind of debris and just stuff that's lying on the foot wells. We'll vacuum that up. Same with the trunk, like I said. After that, make sure everything's wiped down inside. Like I said, it's not very dirty. And then we'll go ahead and start getting the outside wheels, tire shine, you name it, window cleaning. We'll get all that pretty much straightened out. Uh, later in the video, so it shouldn't be that long. I'm gonna try to make it at least eight to ten minutes long for y'all All right before I forget I did say I was gonna show y'all basically what I use Here's my shop vac basically to vacuum out everything in there and uh, You can see my other stuff. I have air compressor in case I need to blow anything out a bunch of extension cords There's my pressure washer steamer a uh, bunch of goodies there a bunch of rags for drying and wiping but here is basically what I use as far as the um, in-between washes when it's not super dirty. I use the invisible glass cleaner. That's for the glass inside and out. And I have two different ones of the Meguiar's Ultimate Quick Wax and the Meguiar's Ultimate Quick Detailer. Both are very good. This one just has a little bit more of a, you know, smoother finish because it has wax in it this one's really it has it has a little bit with that hydrophobic polymer technology in it but it's a real good detailer and then this is the stuff for my clay bars i have just from the boxes that it comes with it's just another quick detailer that i use mainly just that one but i have those as well so i'll just use those on the body pretty much to get them cleaned now for the uh tire shine same thing mcguire's ultimate cleaner tire shine there and again, these are for actual car wash, when I'm actually washing the car. Brake buster for the wheels, express interior cleaner if I need to get any gunk off the interior. Carpet bomber for carpet. Uh, nonsense invisible super cleaner, I use that for anything, basically engine bay. And then also behind it is the ultimate black, which will make plastics black again. Um, and then again, leather cleaner and conditioner for the leather inside. And then. There's the foam cannon, spray nozzle, windshield wiper fluid for the cars, and then just all the buckets of, excuse me, the buckets, the containers of all of the liquids that are basically here, so. All right guys, so step one's complete. Vacuum has been done inside the vehicle. So it's already up in the corner over there. Now the next thing pretty much what we're gonna do, um, inside's pretty much wiped down already, but I mean, I'm not gonna really record that. It's just taking a rag and making sure you don't have any splotches or anything on the inside, which it doesn't. So I already did that, wiped it down with a microfiber. We're good to go, all the dust is good. So the next thing we'll do, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the body panels on the car. And one by one, I'm just gonna work through, you know, top to bottom, most likely, and then work my way to the wheels. And then uh, probably the engine bay as well, somewhere in the video too. So just be watching.
All right, ladies and gents, that is the video. So as you can see, it was shiny before, but I mean, it looks uh, a little bit more shiny now. Um, so, you know, basically all I did was just, you know, start from the top, work my way down. I did the uh, tailgate and then the hood, and then I worked to the sides, did the wheels basically last entire shine, and then the glass on the windows. So that's pretty much what it looks like. She's ready for a car show. And I mean, look, the, the results speak for themselves. Look at that shine. I mean, look at that reflection. Look at that. I mean, those results are really good. Really good. See the tire shine on the wheels. They're all cleaned up. I mean, this car looks immaculate. I mean, look at this. Yeah, this car is, is clean. So if you use those on your car and uh, it's not super, super dirty, just like light dust in between washes, I mean, look, your car is gonna end up being like this. Just do it right and you shouldn't get any scratches on there. Um, I know some people will say you'll get micro scratches and stuff, but I mean, like, like I said, you saw how it was before. Very, very, very little dust. Nothing crazy like mud or huge amounts of caked on dust you know from in between washes but like i said i don't drive it you know in bad weather i only take it out you know maybe two three times a week for you know friday saturday sunday uh, i don't usually da daily it so it stays pretty clean and it's in a garage so it's not out in the elements gathering dust and stuff so it should be good if yours is like that if you're outside you may have to wash it a little bit more and and, and you know i wouldn't just do what I'm doing pretty much. But I mean, guys, look at this. This thing is clean. I mean, it is butter smooth to the touch. Looks pretty good to me. Oh, all right, guys. Well, that's pretty much the video. It's like 90 degrees out here in Texas. And, um, and I'm sweating in my garage doing this video for y'all. But I mean, hey, the car looks freaking good. So um, hopefully y'all enjoy the video and you know, I'm here for y'all. If y'all have any questions or anything like that, you know, just hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, put those comments down and I'll, you know, try to get back to them as best I can. Anyway, guys, I need to go inside because I'm, I'm really hot. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you do enjoy the content on the channel. And until the next video, guys, this is the Rogue Bed out. Peace.